Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss on automation testers roles and responsibilities. So where I am going to talk in detail, being an automation tester, what are the things you should do in the software testing. It could be waterfall model or it could be agile testing or it could be whatever the model being going to operate. So I'm going to tell, talk about in detail what are the roles and responsibilities of an automation tester. This could be irrespective of any tools being used and uh, I'm not going to be a particular tool specialist here. And the same skills and responsibilities would remain same across all the tools. So if you are visiting for the first time Testing Shala YouTube channel, please click on subscribe button and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox. Those videos will help you to enhance your testing skills. So let's move on to understand what are the roles and responsibilities of an automation tester. The first important thing here is you should understand any one automation tool. Uh, it could be any tools, but uh, whatever the tool which you are going to operate in your project, you should have a good understanding of those automation tools. If you talk about Selenium or if you talk about APM or if you talk about QTP or Silk Test, Worksoft, you name any tool, right? You name any tool, you should be expertise in that. Whatever the tool you have picked for automation, then you should bring or you should get expertise on those tools. Should the session tester should have complete understanding of the software testing and its methodologies and what are the techniques being used to design the test cases. You should know everything because he is going to consume the manual testing uh, deliverables. Hence, you should know in and out how they return the test cases and what basis they have written the test cases. So, and you should be able to understanding the complete software development life cycle, which is SDLC. If you are operating in the waterfall model, then you should be able to understand the complete nitty gritty of the waterfall model. Or if you are operating at the agile model, then you should completely know how we are operating in agile mod model, how the sprint works, how the sprint deliverables will be there, what are the ceremonies we make in uh, agile model. Being an agile test automation tester, you should know all these aspects in terms of SDLC as well. And you should have a, doing an hands on when he is doing a test designs in any tool. That then you should have good hands on experience in the coding those tools. It is not that just copy from the Google or do something. No, you should have, you should bring complete hands on. You should be able to not just record playback, just read. you should bring the best optimization in the coding. So you should be able to generate the code yourself in a best optimized way, best uh, reusable options, best methods you should use to bring good automation. Automation resource should also know complete understanding of the automation framework. So there are various uh, uh, automation frameworks available which, which could be data driven, behavioral driven. So th there are various automation frameworks available. Uh, where you should know complete structure of the framework, what are the reusable functions and so on. You should know about complete details about the automation framework. And you should adapt the good coding best practices because as the day progresses, your scripts count will increase and maintaining the later phases becomes very difficult. Hence, you should bring good reusable concept when you when he is going coding it and he has to put in the right framework so that in the, in the later journey, maintaining those scripts becomes very easy. So because we are talking about the agile model as well, because that's where all the products are getting more, being an automation tester, you should know about the AOF journey because that is where the infrastructure they are going to provide to run your scripts on day-to-day -day basis or as and when they check in, right? You should know about the environment being used in the DevOps. Uh, this environment can be via desktops or mobile or any other infrastructure. So being automation tester, you should know all these uh, concepts as well. And you should know the SQL queries because when you're automating, uh, uh, especially your test cases, you will be uh, uh, doing a backend uh, queries as well, just to ensure that whatever you have done the front end, 
uh, the data you pump to the database you are checking in the backend as well just to ensure that the data you pump from the ui is that really reflecting in the db or not right those things you are going to do and as well as being a tester you should be able to report that uh, test automation uh, status report to the, all the relevant stakeholder as and when the result requirement is there and you should have good analytical and testing skills hope you understood the overall concept what automation tester should know if you wanted to take up a automation tester role at least an i level you should have all these skills if you don't have it then that is fine still go through one by one and see how can we adapt how can we improve or how can you groom yourself to learn all these skills i hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video if you are visiting for the first time testing shala youtube channel please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care